Okay guys, it's your girl. I have not recorded this channel for so long. I tried to do a live chat um, talking about this subject, but the video was just chipping in and chipping out and I'm not gonna keep that up there. But anyways, I wanna just do this over using a pre-recorded video before I get interrupted by any customers because I am at work. So this is a video um, responding to the episode that happened today with Drew and Jason or Jason and Sam, <laughs> whatever is titled to this video. So um, today I was really, really bummed by Sam and I'm sick of seeing her with Drew because he deserves better. And that's what I was really trying to say. Like I wanted her to be with Drew because they seemed like a more comfort, not even comfort, but a more matched couple than Jason and Drew, Jason and Sam. And the reason why I say that is because Sam and Jason, I've been there, I've seen it all. I stopped watching the soaps when Jason died. Um, Jason used to go back and forth. Like he would be married to Sam and if Sam and him had something going on, like an argument, he'd run back to Elizabeth. And it used to just be that, back and forth, back and forth thing, okay? Sam used to hurt him out of the blues, like, cheat on him like it's just so many stuff that was just going on while she was still married to Jason um and I really didn't think that it was a fit for her but you know they've been through a lot um Jason ended up dying um that 2014 or 2000 I'm sorry 2011 or 12 one of them he ended up dying anyways it was so long ago and then Drew came in the picture as Jason 2014 if I'm not mistaken and Drew, he didn't try to act like Jason in the coming episodes. He tried to um, make, like, you know, make the character him. But him and Sam, to me, um, Drew as Jason, had more chemistry than Steve and Sam. If that makes sense, I don't know. But they had more chemistry to me. Even as friends, when they're hanging out, it's just, the, the, it's, it's, it's that good. Um... But I was really, because I really don't like Sam. I Let me just tell you honestly. I'm really a shipper of Jason and Elizabeth. Um, I don't even want Elizabeth to end up with Jason anymore because I feel like she, he always leave her, you know, for something. Like something is always off. If it's danger of his life or it's for Sam, he always leaves her again and again and hurt her over and over and over and I really don't want Elizabeth to go through that so I rather her be with Franco um, but Franco is annoying to me as well but um it's just crazy how this soap just got me all messed up today how Sam acted today because of the earthquake I mean a couple days ago she was just saying how she loves Drew like she loves Drew like this man gave her two chances to leave the relationship and go back to Jason because he knew that his her feelings for him like he knew that Sam loved him but not as much as she loves Jason so he gave her the chance to go back and be with Jason and she said no he did ask her to get married you know um because they found out they wasn't married and she decided no um no you know let's get married after she went to Carly for advice like I should have knew like got a red flag about that but it's like okay she went back to Drew said okay I will marry you but Drew took that off the table right it's just ugh, I'm so like so tired <laughs> I don't even want to talk about it. I got so hurt today. Like, our dreams hearts was, like, snatched out of our, you know, heart. You know, like, completely snatched out of our hearts. And it's not that she confessed her love for Jason, because we all know she will always love Jason. We all know that. But the fact of the matter of how she said it, like, I love you. <laughs> so you mean that you don't love Drew? Like, you don't love Drew, so you marry this man, you trapped him. What is the difference of her doing this to Drew than what Elizabeth did to, to Drew? Knowing that he was, was was Jason at the time and she didn't tell anybody. I know this storyline. If you're, if you're not a GH, 
um, watcher, then you don't know. You're probably confused as hell. Like, what the hell is she talking about? But you got to watch the, the soap. This is a soap. So no one stays together forever. <laughs> but, um, but we all know that Steve Burton is not staying on GH for long. He's only signed a three-year contract. Right now, it's um, two years left for him. So we don't know if he's going to renew his contract or if he's going to leave the show. But if he's going to leave the show again, it's just so sad for the writers to do all of this, mess up what they have with Drew and Sam, and Steve is going to leave. And, you know, it's just, it's just crazy. <sighs> I feel bad for Drew. I want Drew to leave Sam. I just hope when he finds out about this, and I hope Sam is a woman enough to admit it to him before anybody else goes to him and tell him the truth of what happened. She still haven't told him about the kiss on New Year's Day. Could you believe that? On New Year's Day, she still haven't told him about the kiss. And... <sighs> yeah it's just crazy i think she wasn't even married to him at the time because jason came back um they didn't ask for divorce yet i don't think she asked for divorce yet um and so she married you knowing that she kissed jason it's like if sam is not selfish i don't know what is selfish if this her actions don't make her selfish you know what i'm saying if i make it any sense and she ended up getting married to this guy, trapping him in a loveless marriage like what Carly had tried to warn him about in front of her. And she denied, 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 and ended up telling this man that how she loved him that, that moment. In that moment, she said, that's why I love you. That's why I'm in love with you. Whatever she said to him. And then end up marrying this man. And now... She confessed her feelings for Jason. Not that she's going to act on it. But you're cheating on your husband. You're holding another man's hand, girl. <laughs> like you're holding another man's hand. Telling another man that you're in love with him. And you're married. Now I just hope, like I was just saying, like, I hope that Jason, no, Drew, go out gracefully. Like he just, you know, don't even let this hurt him. Let this bother him. It's going to hurt because clearly he loves the girl. He sacrificed everything for her um, when he thought he was Jason. And he still has a daughter with Sam. But I just want him to just separate himself from Sam. Get a divorce. I want him to pull all the punches. I want him to divorce Sam. Bring it up to her. Sign the papers like it's nothing. Move on with his life. And be happy um, if he has a visitation with his daughter. Let let Sam drop him, drop her off at Monica, you know, and he'll see her there. They don't need to interact. I just want Sam to be with Jason. Remember why you were with Drew in the first place, because the reason why you didn't go back to Jason is because Drew gave you the life that you always wanted. Drew has everything. He has the danger. He has the safety. Like, he's so much like Samantha, you know? That's why they look like the twins walking in. Everybody always sees them out, the, the, the look-alike twins or whatever they want to call them. Because they're, they are. They're so much alike, you know? They're, they fit each other. And um, Jason fits Sam, too. Um, but it's like Jason will never make Sam number one. We have view we as viewers gotta realize that but of course you know we just want to live the life that we can't live on tv we want to see what we wouldn't really do on tv that's what we're why we're watching because this is like oh my god we will never do this in real life but um yeah it's just so sad guys today i was bummed i'm, I'm i don't think i want to be watching gh any longer i think it's kind of like the way it got me because i was so invest again and it got me so like oh my god how did, could she Say she loved this guy to what, what, not even an episode. And then she's confessing her love to Jason. Are you serious? <sighs> you guys, if you're feeling the way I do, like right now, just comment below. Let me know. Um, Samantha really, like, like really, really disappoint me. Um, we all know. It's like if Jason tell her to leave Drew right now, she probably will. Um, but Jason, 
I liked how Jason react to her. He did say that he loved her too, even if that's all it is. He's okay with that. But the fact that she betrayed Drew is what is killing me. And I don't want Drew to no longer be with her. That's not... Drew been through so much as a character. He came on not knowing who he was. Um, he came on as Jake Doe, um, not knowing, not having a past or a future or nothing. He met Elizabeth. They were living together. They got engaged. So much happened in such a short period of time, you know? And he found out he was Jason Morgan. He didn't even want to be Jason Morgan. And he found out. And then he fell in love with Sam. Not even that she was, you know, her, his type or anything, but he fell in love with her. And this is what it is. This is what it is. I will be so much more comfortable with Jason coming back on the show and just finding a new love interest. Like, it's like going around in circles like this. Like, is there anybody else that they could be be with? It's like, oh my gosh. Like, everybody on the show been with everybody. And I know it's a soap and that's what happens. But gosh, I'm so sick of it. <sighs> Anyways, guys, so I just decided to just put this up there and to clarify what I was feeling. Today's episode was a mess. A mess. If I see... And then tomorrow episode, I think, um, is going to be dream ships. Like, um, Drew and Sam is going to be together. And she's going to... She always tell him everything. Not everything. She didn't tell him about the kiss. But everything else, like when she's with Jason, um, she always, you know, tell him about it and exactly what happened. I am hoping to God <laughs> that she's woman enough to tell him that she confessed her freaking love to Jason. Please, Sam. Please, 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 writers. Please do that for her character. Because if she doesn't and she let this go on any further, any further, it's a shame. It's really a shame. She always goes on Elizabeth. Carly always talking about Elizabeth this, Elizabeth that. Oh, Elizabeth is this, Elizabeth that. But... Sam is the same crap. Sam is the same crap. And it's sad. But um, I'm going to go ahead and load this up and see the feedbacks on this. Hopefully I get some because I feel like I'm heartbroken um, with the dream ship. I don't think I will be shipping them anymore. Like that's what happens, you know, ship change. And um, because of today, I feel like I have no faith in Sam's character I really don't. And the looks that she gives Jason. Really? Girl, wake up. You married. You asked the same man for a divorce to marry his brother. And his, it's, it's brother, girl. You're between two brothers. It would have been so much better if she just said it from the beginning. Like, yeah, I want a divorce, you know? I want to be with Jason because Drew knew how she felt about Jason from the very start. He knew he was there, remember, as a friend. And she will always sit and talk about Jason and the memories that they share together. And um, before Drew even knew he was Jason, before Drew even knew, I'm going to say this, knew he was Jason Morgan because he wasn't really Jason Morgan. But before they gave him that title. And... He knew how this, this, this was so important for Sam and her family. And now that Jason, the real Jason is back, the real Jason, because we don't even know if he's the real Jason. <laughs> even though they had a DNA, this could flip any time. Everybody's thinking that, you know, Steve Burton is the real Jason because the doctor guy said that. But who knows? We're waiting for that, um, for Drew to get his memory back because of some kind of device that, you know, could let him get his memory back. Who knows? If it's... If it's even Drew, that's the real Jason. That could be another storyline. But I, 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 I really, I'm really disappointed in Sam, though. It's like, if you're not Jason, she don't want to be with you. <laughs> as long as you're Jason, you don't have to have the same face, the same body, anything like that. But as long as you are Jason, she want to be with you. So if Steve Burton with Jason face wasn't Jason, I guess she don't want to be with him anymore because he's not Jason, right? Is that love? I don't know. I don't know if that's love. 
Um, but she, I'm oh, sorry, I thought it was me. Um, she killed a lot of people. Um, love life to be with this man. And now she doesn't, I don't know what she's going to do. I really don't know. But guys, I'm going to eat my salad. I have, a, well, I got some, the sushi shop. This is a chicken salad. It has everything in it. Let me show you. This is like off the base because I'm sick and tired of talking about Sam and Drew and Jason. Oh my God. But it looks so good, right? Looks so good. And then they come with this organic sauce that they make themselves and stuff like that. And I'm going to eat it. But, um, guys, it just killed me. It kills me because we wouldn't do this in real life. If we were married to someone, and we thought they died and then we married somebody else even if we thought if that was the man that died and our we fell in love we made love to that guy we made a baby together we have a family we're happy and your ex-husband come back yes there would be feelings and stuff like that but your life changed life changed people move on and you can't just leave your husband you know this is a mess but anyways, I, I, I just feel like I'm in the Vampire Diaries instead of the soaps. Because the Vampire Diaries was doing the same thing with Elena and Damien and Stefan. And it got really tired and what got what happened to that show. It got canceled, didn't it? <laughs> because no one cares. Okay? Please, writers. GH, get it together. Please. Bye.